Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Tech Conversations. Firstly, if you haven't already, make sure to check out Moomoo. Moo. Right now you can earn an 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash by using my link in the description below. Remember, terms and conditions do apply. You could also earn up to 15 free stocks right now. So go ahead and check out Moomoo. Moo. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Also make sure to check out the new Robinhood Gold Card where you could earn 3% cash back across the board. So I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Now let's get right into today's video. So today I wanna talk about trading options on the new Robinhood trading platform, Robinhood Legend. So let's just get right into this video. So let's first head on over to Robinhood Legend. Now, how do we get there? So if you're on the classic Robinhood platform, and if you have access to this new platform, you should see this yellowish greenish button on the top here that says Robinhood Legend. So you can go ahead and click on that. And this will take us over to the new Robin of the Legend desktop trading platform. So here we are. Now the first thing I wanna mention here is make sure that you're trading options on the account that you wanna trade options on. And to double check, remember on the top right here, you can click here and this is where you can switch between accounts. Right, so I have two accounts on Robinhood, traditional IRA and individual. So here you wanna make sure you're on the correct account when you're trading options. You don't wanna end up trading options on the wrong account. Now, the next thing we need to do here is we want to either create a layout or we can use an existing layout here. So if we click on this plus sign on the top left, again, you can start from scratch or you can start from a template. I'm gonna start from a template here today. And if we click on here, there's actually two templates that are geared towards options trading. One's actually called options trading, so you can spot opportunities and build trades with speed. The second one is called advanced options. So here you can trade on a larger chain and view more metrics. So I'm actually gonna use this template here for today's video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it and this will automatically apply that template to our layout here. So we don't have to do anything very quickly here. So now you wanna make sure firstly that you select the appropriate stock that you wanna trade options on. Now, where do we go to do that? Right here on the top here, you can see if you hover over the ticker symbol, whatever ticker symbol it might be, you can click on it and here you can search for any ticker symbol you want. Or there's a list here of the most popular ones, right? Let's say I wanted to trade options on Disney. I can go ahead and click on Disney there. And what's nice is that not only will the options chain uh, switch to showing the options for Disney, but the chart on the left here will also switch over to Disney. Now there's two other widgets here besides these two. There's the recent orders widget, and then there's the current positions widget here. And so I'm gonna go back to Apple. That's what I'm gonna use here for today's video. So there we are back on Apple here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna collapse this expiration date here. So you can collapse and expand the expiration dates. So if I click there now, it's collapsed. And you can actually see all the different expiration dates available right now for Apple. So the first thing I wanna share with you guys is how do we modify the expiration date here? Which ones we want to see? Or how many strikes we wanna see in each expiration date here? So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead to the top right here and click on this button that says filter. So if we click on here, here you can change the number of strikes and also the days to expiration. So let's say that for each expiration date, I only wanna see six strikes. So I can go ahead and switch that over to six strikes. Let's say that for days to expiration, I'm only interested in you know days to expiration less than 30 days maybe. So I'll go ahead and select this one right here and then I can click on done here. So now, as you can see, I only have four different expiration dates here, right, less than 30 days away. 
And if I expand one of these, I'm only gonna see six different strikes at once. So that can really help it uh, be a little bit more organized when you're looking to trade some options here. Now, the next thing here is, if you wanna quickly know what the current share price is for the stock, you can see it up here, or you'll notice that you'll see this dotted line in this options chain here and it's going through a price here. So this will be the current share price as well. So that way you can quickly see uh, you know, where the share price is right now, and from that determine you know, which options are in the money, out of the money, at the money as well. Now, the next thing here is the calls are gonna be on the left, right? We can see up here, calls is right here on the left, and then puts are going to be on the right. That's very important. You wanna make sure you're not accidentally buying a put when you meant to you know, buy a call or vice versa. So calls are on the left, puts are on the right. And again, you can see that by looking at the top here, we have calls and we have uh, puts here. Now, if we wanna go ahead and look at the option information. So for example, I wanna look at the Greeks for one of these options. I can do that by scrolling here. So notice here on the top, right, right, right under where it says calls or right under where it says puts, we have different columns. So for example, we have volume here, we have open interest, we have implied volatility, we have delta, gamma, so now we're getting into the Greeks and we have theta there, right? And we can see the same thing here on the other side for puts. So here's where you find that information. Now let's say you don't, you don't see something here that you normally would see. So to change the columns here, you can go to the top right and you'll notice this ellipsis button here and it's called settings. So if we click on that, here you can customize the columns. So here you see all the columns available and which ones you've selected or haven't selected, right? So we could also add, for example, high, low, uh, you know, break evens or, you know, bid size, ask, ask size. We can also remove some of these that are already selected here. Let's say we wanted to add break even. So I can go ahead and click on here. And so now if we go back here, now we have our break even column here as well. So we can see that right before we place an options trade here. Now, how do we select an option here? Maybe let's say I wanna call on Apple. How do I select an option? So now we have two more columns here, again, on each side for calls and for puts, right? We have the bid and the ask here. So if you're looking to buy an option, you would wanna click on the ask here. So let's say I wanted to buy a call on Apple at the 225 strike. So I would go to that option, which is right here, and I would click on the ask to buy it. Now, if I wanted to sell an option instead, I would click on the bid. So let's click on the ask here. And so if I click, you'll see it's gonna show buy to open. If I wanted to sell a call, I would click on bid here. And as you can see now, it's gonna open sell to open. Or if you click the wrong one, you can just change it right here very easily, okay? And so we have this widget here that shows up. Again, you can buy to open or sell to open. And right underneath that, once you've selected what you wanna do, you have your order type. So if you open this up, looks like there's four different order types. We have a limit, uh, a market order, a stop market order, and a stop limit order here. And for these, these can only be placed on market days. So I can't place them right now. But for limit or stop limit, I can place them right now. It'll get queued and you know, once the market opens, it may or may not go through. Uh, the next section here is quantity. So how many do you wanna buy? How many do you wanna sell? Uh, so very simple, right? You can go up or down, or just in here, you know, you can modify it right off uh, just by typing in the number there. Uh, the next section is the limit price here. So again, this depends on what the order type is, but since I have limit, it's gonna have the limit price here. And then we have time and force. So we have good for day or good till it's canceled here. And then down here, it's gonna show you the estimated cost. So, right, whatever the limit price is here for a limit order. And then remember there's this uh, three cents regulatory fee per contract as well. 
and then you would go ahead and place the option order. So for this example, we'd be buying this Apple call. If I wanted to sell, right, same concept here, and then I would, again, click here to sell an Apple call. And so that's basically how you trade options here on this new Robinhood platform, uh, Robinhood Legend. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time.